you know like i'm honestly sorry to tell you this but even god almighty does say it is impossible yes listen to what i'm about to say i know that you are wondering what these guys talking about is this blasphemy or what now listen and by the way i am ishmael and your priest if you're watching me for the first time i welcome you to today's video now listen there is something impossible the lord does not say it verbally so but i want to tell you that the lord says nothing is impossible with me but if we dive deeper into scriptures and when we check people in the world today and the errors that you yourself you keep making and you wonder why god is not doing this for you listen you are doing and you are putting god in a position where it is impossible for him to put you out or to do it or to do it at the time like listen i want you to understand the impossibility of things of or for thing for god to do things for you that is why it is good to be obedient it is good to listen and do and follow what i'm about to tell you right now first of all nothing is impossible with god let's start there yes it is nothing you know why he can do whatever he want at will first of all right he can do whatever he want at will at any time nothing can stop him then secondly and that secondly comes with a but you know but the secondly the thing is this if you see the nature here the sun the night the days going by the sea the oceans the oxygen all these things are created by god right do you believe so so yes if you do believe you'll understand so now ask yourself one question why did god have to make it night day why did he have to create time why 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 and now and why did in the, one of the fruits of the spirit it says patience those who wait upon me why does god want us to wait why can't he just do things me like that like that like that like that now this will make you see how deeper this gets and now i have a question for you what is it that you want god to do for you okay and when do you want him to do it for you why should he do it now why should he do it tomorrow and what about if god wants to do it next week next month in the next decade what are you gonna do about it now you must understand when you have your request made known your request unto the lord when you say i'm being guided and i'm walking with the lord that, that means anything he, that he tells you to do that's what you do you wait for him to act right so now let's picture these things like this if we were all in a position where we pray and we want God to act right now because nothing is impossible with him. How many of us with different problems? We all have various type of problems. Ask yourself a question. If indeed we would be spiritually strong enough to command the sun to be stuck, to stop. If there was a way in which we, by our own willingness by our own uh, dedication in the spirit w there would be a way in which if we are all to be dedicated enough we can just always bypass things do you think the world was going to function in order now listen to me very well yeah i know that this is uh, some sort of a complicated start of this way but i wanted to get something if we were all to just pray get to that level where we just pray and all the things we pray about and they manifest the world will be in disorder you know why because let's take for instance the sun is to go down while you have not done some things you will pray that let the sun stuck for me for my sake be stuck and it was gonna apply to everybody and if there were with somebody else with the same anointing as yours who want the sun to just be night to go down quickly they will pray you see there will be a conflict of prayers therefore the lord has set a rule that we must obey he has set a law that you know in the morning afternoon and night so we know that we have to follow that time and there is no way we can bypass that in the bible it only happened once and do you know why some miracles were or they happened back then in the bible and not happening today it is so that we could see that god can do it not that there is something that is limited to nothing is impossible but it is not ideal to do hence if you disobey you die you perish you fail it delays nothing happens because 
you are doing something which is not in the will of God. The will of God is for human beings to survive by eating food. That is why the moment you disobey, no matter how anointed you are, you can die due to not eating food. He, and he knew what he was doing. And he knew that there will be people who will try to bypass the nature of things. The Lord Jesus never tried to bypass. The Lord Jesus will sleep, he will eat. The Lord Jesus will go look for food, he will get hungry and be frustrated. Hence, he cursed the tree. That is why I want to tell you today, I want to tell you the, the same thing. That when Esau gave his birthright to his younger brother Jacob, at a time where he wanted to reverse, it could no longer be done. It could no longer be reversed. When King Saul disobeyed the instruction of the Lord, and there came a time where he realized that he has been dethroned, he has been rejected. When he tried to repent, when he tried to apologize, it could no longer be done. When Moses disobeyed, when the Lord told him or instructed him to speak unto the rock so that it can bring out water, but instead he hid a rock and God punished him or God uh, commanded him or whatever not to ever enter Canaan, that he, should, he will not enter Canaan, but he will see it from a distance. He tried to repent. He tried to apologize, to intercede for he on his behalf, for himself. But God could no longer reverse it, could no longer change his mind. It was impossible at that point. So now, now you get what I'm talking about. I want to tell you something that it is impossible. That's why it is important, very crucial to be on point, to try by all means. Don't take the grace of God for granted. Don't take an instruction for granted. There will be things that you will do and you can no longer reverse. Have you ever done something and you wish you could go back and you realize that it's going to stay like this forever? Unfortunately, we cannot go back to five minutes before. Had I known better, I wouldn't have done this. So now, let me tell you that I also used to think likewise as a Christian, as growing in the spirit that, okay, if I pray enough, if I can be anointed, because there will be those charlatans, those fake men of God or those whatever, some that will make us to believe that they can just control the world like a remote control. You know, I can pray over for a stove to begin to work, nothing, I can walk on water, I can fly like... They made it seem like it is just like that. It's, the thing is, it is not impossible with God, but it is not always like that. In a manner, you, you can just do it at will. You can just bypass or else the Lord Jesus would have done the same. He, there's a time for a miracle to demonstrate and there's a time to follow how nature works. So if you are disobedient enough, you will mess up. You will, dis, you will destroy yourself unknowingly. So, so in everything... Is it the will of God? Paul understood very, that very well as he pleaded with the Lord three times to remove the thorn from his flesh. But the Lord said, such I will not do. My grace is sufficient. So he understood that this is not a matter of God can't do it. But his will is for me to have this. So his, the will for the Lord is for you to walk through that wilderness. The will of the Lord is for you to wait for this period of time until you get your breakthrough. Hence, if you are trying to bypass, you are trying to have create shortcuts, you will destroy yourself. Let me leave this here. I hope this week blessed you and it gave you a wake up call. I could make it longer, but I feel like you can meditate upon this, okay? I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. My details are in the comment section below. See you next time.